Hi and welcome to Momda's Life Handmade. If you love DIY, decor, home, sew, travel, recipe, all in a budget, do subscribe to my channel and be notified about my upcoming videos by hitting the notification bell. Today I'm participating in Spring Decor DIY Under $20 Challenge. Being hosted by Sharon from Creative Glam and Florissa from Home Body with Florissa. Do check out their channels and the playlist created by them for more inspirations. The challenge is about creating a spring decor item under $10. I'll let you count the pennies or dollars that I've spent over this project. For the first project, I took an empty vodka bottle, which I have cleaned it and removed all the paper labels by soaking it in water and then cleaned the whole bottle with soap water. I love the shape of the bottle and the writings over it. These did not come out, but I like the black and white cursive writing. What I don't like is this blue thing which is just not coming out. I am going to camouflage it. So I decided to put some same color shade blue over it. I'm going to use acrylic paint throughout the project. So I just added blue over the writing, blue writing and went all around the bottle in an irregular edge to just to simulate something like a cloud or burst of colors. Just to add depth, I added some black in between the blue portion. Now to add that glam factor, I am adding gold acrylic paint inside the black area. This is already looking so beautiful but I remembered I need to add a little green because I have a lot of green plants and objects in the home and to just match the surroundings. I even added this bluish green gold rim onto the neck of the bottle and I think this looks just gorgeous. Don't you agree? So I'm going to take a CD cover, I've taken the CD out, I don't need one, I've taken the black uh, CD case out as well and I'm going to unhinge this. So I get two pieces, I'm going to check whether the piece is clear enough and I'm going to use them. So I got four clear similar pieces, I think you're getting the idea of what I'm going to do. I'm taking a broad clear cello tape. Now all I need to do is fix it in form of a terrarium.
I'm going to start by taking my copper tuna plate as uh, my tray. This would complement the colors that I'm using. This is the bottle that I painted yesterday and I filled it with water. And I'm placing it such that uh, the main pattern is facing outwards so that everybody can see. And uh, I got a cutting from the pathos plant or money plant commonly known as. This is known to survive in just plain water and it looks really nice indoors. It can work very well with the low sunlight. So here is a bit of life. Now another DIY of today I'm going to place it so that it occupies least amount of space here and I'm going to create nest with these are some silver and golden ribbon I'm keeping the silver ribbon in the bottom for the contrast and the golden ribbon on the top for the gold effect here is the nest and here are some of my painted eggs from my previous project and I'm going to use some of them here I might add a few flowers here as well. Here is a malachite design box. It's a false malachite because it's originally wood and I painted it to look like malachite. It's a lovely malachite green box and I'm going to use it. I'm going to open it lightly and put this strings in just overhanging outside so it looks like overflow of bountics. There should be a light source. Uh, it looks nice with some life and light so a pretty candle holder or votive in gold, silver, shimmery diamond did look And it all fits in so very well and I think it's a perfect centerpiece for any area. I think I like this more like this. I have placed my hand painted marble tray over uh, my coffee table and over it I have stacked my jute coasters on which I have kept my malachite green box and here is this painted vase and I think this looks gorgeous with this streak of gold running through the blues and the greens even the writing is are more beautiful now and the plant the green is complementing this whole thing and here are the eggs sitting in the gold and silver nest and I'm very happy with how this has turned out if you like my today's video please give it a thumbs up write down in your comments what you think about the DIYs which costed me nothing and give me a pretty beautiful and modern quite contemporary modern center to decor centerpiece and I think I really love how this is and I'm going to keep it like this this is looking awesome thank you so much for stopping by and take care and see you in my next video